Oh, I like it when it's like all blurry, like that behind, because you can't really see much of that picture there. But can you still see me? I don't know, it's too much in it, I think. But I've hit the wrong button and I ain't got time to mess around. Uh, right, so I want to talk about this James Pierce article today, guys. Um, let's have a look. Cop Top members. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Right, so. There was an article today put out by James Pierce, brought to my attention on the Cop Top members website. And it's titled Liverpool's Next Transfer Priorities, Midfield Additions and Young Defender by James Pearce. Before Liverpool had even unveiled Alexis McAllister as their first summer signing last week, the rumour mill had gone into overdrive about who would be next through the door. Catherine Thuram, Manu Kone, Gabri Vega, Ryan Gravenberg, uh, Gravenberg, Romeo Labia. It's no secret that Liverpool are in the market for at least one Midfielder to complement the arrival of the 24 year old McAllister. At least one. I remember like pre season conversations, uh, pre summer conversations, people going, well, we need at least four or five midfielders. It's hilarious. Uh, the depart that department of Jurgen Klopp's squad was an area of glaring weakness for most of last season. It's been depleted by the departures of Milner, Catesert, Ox uh, following the end of their contracts. The signing of McAllister officially marked the end of Julian Wall's time as sporting director with the handover to his successor, George Complete. It doesn't say George, but you know what I mean. Over the past week, George, head of recruitment, Dave Fallows and Chief Scout Barry Hunter have been involved in discussion with clubs and agents across Europe. Where Liverpool turn next is currently unclear as they continue to weigh up their options. Now, I'd agree with that. I think that we, we know who they're sounding out, we know who they're talking to, we know, and I've got another video for you coming up in a minute about something that's happening today. Right now, actually. Um, McAllister was the priority and since then it's been a case of taking stock and establishing who else is available and at what price as they seek to maximise their resources. From Liverpool's perspective, there is no rush, given that the transfer window only officially opens for English clubs today, and any signings from overseas won't go through until the international window opens on July 1st. Ideally, Klopp would like all business to be completed by July 8th, when pre-season training starts at Kirkby. But there's also a realisation on his part that things might drag on. The situation is complicated by international fixtures, including the Under-21 European Championship in Romania and Georgia, which starts on June 21. The quintet mentioned above, Turam, Kone, Vega, Kravenberg, Lavia, have all come under consideration. However, that isn't a definitive shortlist. One name who doesn't feature on Liverpool's shortlist is James Ward-Prowse, despite Recent reports linking him, blah, blah, blah. 28 doesn't fit the profile. Chelsea's Mason Mount no longer an option. 70 million to 80 million valuation deemed it vastly excessive. I don't think we were ever really in for him. I think we made some noises back in January, if you remember. January 23rd, if my memory serves me right, they had to sit down. But I, I don't, you know, when these lot were all telling you that they were going for him, I was, I don't know, I don't think I believed in that. Uh, Vega 21 be, would be a cheaper option, given he has a release clause of around 34 million. I think I mentioned that uh, yesterday, I'm not sure when it was. While Lavia 19 already has Premier League experience, positive discussions were held with Raven Birch's camp. But any hope of signing him hinges on buying Munich because you know they don't want to sell him. Whether Liverpool sign one or two more midfielders this summer will be heavily influenced by the cost of the deals available. The club's stance isn't that they must sign two more regardless in order to fill gaps. Cater and Oxley Chamberlain, oh, that fucking dog, seriously. He wants, well, I love animals, so he don't want kicking up the ass. The owner wants kicking in in the head for one either leaving it on its own all day like that or for ignoring it like if i hear remy well, first of all i'm gonna leave remy on his own do you know what i mean not too long anyway sometimes he has to be left but if i thought he and i've got cctv cameras on his kennel so that shows you how much i care and if and i can speak to him you know what i mean and uh even when i'm in england i speak to remy i don't leave him on his own when i go to england but you know what i'm saying i like to keep an eye on him when people look after him i still want to make sure but, you know, like, if I hear my dog barking, I go, what's up? Are you all right? I don't want to annoy my neighbours. That's that. They need their heads sorting in. Right, anyway, kicking in. <clears throat> I'm passive. I won't, yeah, I'm not like that. But you know what I mean. Um, the club stance isn't that they must sign two more, regardless, in order to fill gaps. So, Kate and Ox only started seven league matches between them in 22-23. In other words, well, we, we kind of managed without them. So, we don't, he's already starting the, 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 F, the, the FSG guff here, in my opinion. <clears throat> Thiago is down to the final year of his contract but Klopp is planning for the season ahead with the former Bayern Munich playmaker on board the expectation is he will leave on a free uh, next year when he'll be 33 Liverpool will welcome back Stefan Bajetti from injury in pre-season it'll be like a new signing 
after the 18-year-old Spaniard missed the final two months of the campaign. It also works that Curtis Jones made rapid strides forward during the 11-game unbeaten run, which lifted morale after a season of struggle. Arviella is another expected to kick on again, and Tyler Morton will be assessed in pre-season for, following a productive year on loan at Blackburn Rovers. So everything he's just said there goes completely against what Canate said in that previous video about, you know, we can't, we, we're not going to do anything, we like loads of youngsters sort of thing. This is this is just this is all pandering in my opinion. This is this is the, the, what we talk about all the time with this LFC click. And in that previous video that someone said earlier today, what's top reds? I'll tell you what top reds is. People that listen to that and read it and go, yeah, he's got a good point there, because that's absolute shite. So already we've been told that Vegetic, Curtis Jones. Uh, Harvey Elliott and Tyler Morton, right? All of them. We should be thinking about them guys. We don't need to go and get all these big name players. What a load of. F Fabino finished the season strongly after fighting his way out of a slump, and Klopp still views him as an integral going forward. Fabio Cavallo is set to be loaned out. Blah, blah, blah. Academy graduate Leighton Clarkson is expected to leave on a permanent basis after a productive season on loan at Aberdeen. Midfield aside, Liverpool are also considering centre back targets. Ibrahima Kanate has firmly established himself as the first choice alongside Virgil van Dijk, but injuries have limited uh, you know, his appearances to 53 across two seasons. Ideally, they would recruit a young dynamic defender this summer who is capable of providing high calibre backup. And I think that's something that we've been saying, haven't we? With, like someone that could maybe play right and, and centre or something like that. Reports in Germany have linked Liverpool with Bayern's Benjamin Pavard, who can play right back and in the middle. Uh, but East 27 are not viewed as a potential option by recruitment staff. Well, we know the Liverpool sniffed around him, but I think in my last couple of videos, well, certainly my last video about him, uh, I was told, what was I told? I can't even remember. It didn't sound like Liverpool were, I was basically saying stand down from that. And I, so James is saying basically saying that he's not an option. So yeah, maybe I would agree with that uh, for now. I don't believe that because he's 27 that they were not interested in him. I just think that something's not right there they're not they're, they're focusing on the midfield anyway like Thiago the, the expectation is that Joel Matic will see out the final year it remains to be seen whether Klopp perseveres with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the hybrid role that re-energised him during the running but either way Liverpool are not looking to buy a right back Klopp intends to give opportunities in pre-season to teenager Conor Bradley who would return to the club after an impressive loan spell at Bolton the Northern Ireland international says the time away toughened him up Liverpool will no longer have Milner to provide cover, but Joe Gomez can also operate at right back. And Calvin Ramsey, who was bought from Aberdeen as Alex Randall's understudy a year ago, will spend next season on loan at Preston. Talks about Kelleher, says the situation remains unchanged. It remains to be seen whether a top flight club tests that resolve in bidding for him. Liverpool do not intend to add to their attacking options, despite the departure of Firmino. Uh, Gakpo effectively filled the Brazilian's boots adjusting to the false nine rule. Oh my God, there's someone at the door. I'm going to have to leave it running until I come back, guys. I do apologise. Just wait there, just wait there. Be right back, be right I know what they are, rechargeable batteries. I do apologise, but I'm recording on my mobile phone and I ain't got time to edit it. Where were we? Gapo uh, filled his Brazilian boots just into the false nine row. Klopp has five frontline attackers in Gapo, Diogo Jota, Salah, Diaz, Darwin, Nunes. Reports in Italy have linked Liverpool with a £30 million move for Federico Chiesa, that's a Juventus, but that is not the case. Next season will bring added complication of losing salary in January for the Africa Cup of Nations. 
uh, in the Ivory Coast. However, there are high hopes for teenage winger Ben Doak, who is expected to play a bigger role after clocking up five senior appearances uh, in 22-23. Klopp also has the gifted young attacker Cade Gordon on the comeback trail, while Joffrey is another option on the right flank if required. There's more business to be done as Liverpool seek further injections of quality in midfield and defence. But after acting swiftly and decisively to sign McAllister, patience will prove to be a virtue among an expected fan base as Klopp and George consider their next move. Well, I don't know about you, but I thought that was a load of shite. Uh, there was a comment. Uh, can I close that? That I wanted to just mention to you. Johnny, Johnny K. Uh, two two oh two. Uh, he's a channel member. Thank you, Johnny. I appreciate the support, brother. Uh, he said earlier, Dunk, I see that James Pierce knob is at it again with his bullshit transfer window only opens today, and he's already killing expectations. And in capital FSG out immediately. It's it's it's. <sighs> Look, I was going to say I don't care what James Pierce has got to say, but obviously I do. What I mean by that, though, is I actually don't think he's got a fucking clue what's going on, to be honest with you. I think he's just downplaying, uh, you know, like what's being fed to him. I do, honestly. And he's such, you know, I can just imagine him. I don't know. I hate coming across like I'm hating on someone. I absolutely hate it. And James, if you're watching this video, I'm not having a dig at you as a person. But you are so soul destroying. You are so soul destroying. And what I mean by that is, we can all have opinions. Do you know what I mean? And there's, if, you, if you're writing factual things about youngsters having an opportunity and everything, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe everything you're saying in that article is correct. But James, I don't understand, right, how you can't say in that article anywhere, like, but Liverpool really need to improve this squad. I, I, I just can't see how you can leave that out. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I just don't get it. And I'm getting chest pains in my heart and everybody's probably gonna die and it's stressed. I don't feel very well. Where's my medication? Oh, James, you're stressing me out, mate. I, I just don't, I don't get it, guys. I don't get it. And I know we like a laugh and a joke, honey, and I know you complain when my videos are too long. Is it only 12 minutes long? Uh, I don't feel, I've just come over a bit funny, I don't feel very well. Oh. And I haven't took my blood pressure medication, so I'm taking it. Look at all them fuckers. Is it all them? There's about 20,000, I don't think you can see it because it's blurred, is it? There's about 20,000 tablets there. But, they're good, it's not medication. Uh, Overwhelming majority of them are supp supplements and that, you know what I mean? I think there's two two medications, the rest are all vitamins, but they're all going in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 12. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to die. Don't fucking moan at me in the comments because I have zero tolerance, right? You'll be fucking gone. Seriously, my heart was hurting a little bit, and they all, and the last time it did that, I ended up in hospital, and they said, when you do that, if you ever get that, you must take an extra one of them tablets, and I even took the one for today, so. But see what James Pierce is doing to me, do you know what I mean? And I'm getting messages on my phone, which I need to check in case they're related to Liverpool. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm sorry that the video is all over the place, but I wanted to get that article out to you, and... I just, I just don't see, I, I don't, I can't understand, but I do understand why they're like this, but I just, <sighs> say all the things like, oh, we've got the youngsters coming through, and maybe we don't need to do, you know, five out, five in, whatever, but why is there never anything challenging from these fucking people? Not shit stirring, not being aggressive, not being nasty, not being unrealistic, just like, you know, why not even convey the fans and go, well, I think this, but, you know, the fan base, I think they would love to see, you know, a couple of high quality, you know, higher players, calibre players brought in. What the fuck is wrong with these people? And, you know, sometimes I'll, be like, I'll say to you guys, I don't give a fuck anyway. But I do, as you can see, it's just so annoying. It's so annoying. 
it, it, it's to the point where I would say it's like someone writing parody or something. It's just like, I, I mean, sometimes I, I read articles like that and I think, are they just deliberately trying to wind people up? I, I, I totally, I, do you know what? This is a shit video. I shouldn't put it online. I had to go and answer the door for my rechargeable batteries. Uh, but this is authentic. This isn't some twat on YouTube going, hey, what's up, guys? Like, this is it. This is reality. You're not going to get more real than this. So fuck it. An Amazon delivery driver came and that's it. And he's annoyed me. Not the Amazon delivery driver. I was hoping it was the chick because she's fit as fuck. That's why I've got Amazon Prime, just so that she comes every day. But it must be her day off. I wonder if she'll be in Benidorm this afternoon. Hello. See, I'm all right now. I'm all right now. I've took me, I took my medication. I'll be all right. I'll be able to sort her out. <laughs> you can't say things like, well, that's just fucking deep. When I went to the front door, I had to go to the gate to wait for the driver. And he was at the van. I couldn't see him. He's obviously rummaging in the back for the parcel. And I'm stood there thinking, well, I'll have to scrap that video, you know, and start again. But I'm not. I'm not starting it again. Fuck it. It's, it's real. It's true. And, you know... Maybe, you know, maybe maybe my videos annoy people because they're too long-winded. Well, that's just tough shit, isn't it? Uh, if you don't like it, it's tough shit. I'm not here to appease anyone. The only people I'm bothered about are the people that appreciate my videos. These videos are made for the Cop Talk family. If you're just some fucking random a drop in, we don't care what you think. I'm really angry about James Pierce today. Fucking transfer windows only just opened. Uh, and we're getting downplayed like that, playing that shit down. Get to f fuck off, man. See you in a bit, guys. I'm off for a drink.